hey guys, JW Roberts here, and today it's not going to be a normal video. I'm going to be disgusting. Disgusting. Today I'm going to be discussing Team Ninja Warrior Season 3, or what they're now calling it, Ninja vs. Ninja. <clears throat> so basically, here's what's happened. Um, off of American Ninja Warrior, they've had Team Ninja Warrior, where they have different teams of um, three competitors, two um, men, one woman. Um, and they'll race side by side, choosing different people, and then they'll race, and then they all have, and they're, you'll see if you watch it, they have a bunch of different rules, and then eventually they end up winning over, like, their teams does the best. But anyway, <laughs> they've had two seasons of that so far, and now the third one, they, they, they were at day, now it's at night. And now it's going to be at night, um, you know, it's going to have lights and everything, it's going to be a lot more exciting. Um, but today... They have um, listed all of the teams. Uh, I might be posting this a little bit late um, because I haven't got to make this video yet. And um, my other videos have been piling up on me. But anyway, let's get right into the new teams. So first, we've got Team Dark Horse led by Lance Picus, I believe. Um, and I'm not really a big Lance Picus fan, but he's got a strong team. He's got Carson Royals, Tammy McClure. They did pretty good these past season. Carson Voyles made it all the way to stage two. Tammy McClure, not sure if she made it to the Vegas finals, but she did really good in the Denver um, qualifiers and finals. So that's a pretty strong team. Now we're moving on to Midwest Muscle. This looks like a pretty strong team. You got Tyler Yamauchi, Ethan Swanson. Those are some awesome guys. And you got Christy P Pratt. I haven't seen much out of her. Um, I, she's not one of those well-known ninjas, I don't think, but, but she could probably come up big in this competition, who knows. Now we move on to the Little Breakfast Club. I like this team, um, it's got, it's led by Jesse Lebrecht. It's got John Alexis Jr., and new to this year, it's got Chris Ganji. They chose him, I guess, over, um, the guy who had last time. Uh, I, I was thinking of his name all day, I f completely forget it. Uh, what was it? I've been thinking of his name all day, and now I just forgot it, I'm sorry. But um, now they have Krista Ganji, which is Jesse Lebrecht's boyfriend, which I'm guessing that's why he put it on the team. But overall, that's a strong team. Oh, Noel Reyes. Noel Reyes was the guy um, who they used to have on the team, which they traded in for Krista Ganji. And he was a really strong dude. I think they should have traded John Alexis um, out for Krista Ganji because, I mean, he is a good competitor, but he didn't really do as well last season. So good. that's a pretty good team. Now Team Tarzan. Really, I'm not a big fan of this team at all, and I'm guessing you guys probably aren't either. <clears throat> I mean, Ben Melick, like, I think he's the only one to go on down on the first obstacle of Team Ninja Warrior. Like, he's not even that good, I think. Travis Wynand, I, I'm, I think he's okay. Uh, and Emmy Rose, I've never even heard of. So, I mean, th there's not much to say about that team for me. Now the Golden Hearts. I love this team. Grant McCartney, Neil Craver, and Natalie Duran. These are all a bundle of energy guys, and they go crazy. Golden Hearts. These always show up, and they always have a fun time. <clears throat> they don't. I don't, I don't think they've been too far in the competition, but they are. They're just a fun team out there, and they're really fun to watch. So, I'm rooting on them. Average JoJo's. I again, that's not one of the teams I'm really going for. JoJo Bynum to me isn't really even that good. And he seems like he's not, he's not like, he doesn't have like the American Ninja Warrior spirit. Like when he fell, he just got super frustrated. And everybody, when they fall, they're just like, well, you know, I fell, but I made it past this. Or I did better than last year or something. But he just gets really frustrated. So I don't really like this team. Um, it's got Jessica Clayton. I, I've never even heard of her. And Jimmy Boggle Jr., which I recognize. But not a very good team to me. Now the Towers of Power. This is very interesting to me. Dan Polizzi and Nate Burkhalter are on the team, as well as Selena Laniel. But they've taken out Brandon Mears. Now, you obviously are like, but well, why? That that can't happen. And I'm like that, too. But I think the reason why, I think um, they, he, her and his wife, they had a baby, I think, now. And they have to take care of that. I mean, you heard that in Season 9. So I think Brandon Mears has to take a little bit off of competition to help with the little one. So, yeah. And then the three wishes is the next team. Thomas Dilling, I used to hate. I don't know why, but now after I've seen like some of his videos, he's really cool, dude. Um, with Brittany Hanks as the woman and and Brian Burkhart as the second um, male competitor. 
So that's a pretty strong team. Phoenix Force, Najee Richardson is leading it. That's any team with Najee Richardson is pretty strong. You got Michael Torres and Cassie, Cassie Craig. That's a pretty strong team. Now the Think Tank. Uh, I'm not a big Noah Kaufman fan, but um, he's got a fairly strong team with Matt Wilder. Honestly, I like Matt Wilder better than Noah, or Noah Kaufman. But and then they've got a new competitor, Lila Lyla Noon. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I've never even seen her before. Now TNT. I like Travis Rosen because he's from our home state, Tennessee. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, he, I think he has the same team besides Emily Durham. He had Brett Sims um, last year, and now he has Emily Durham, which I think is a good pick because that might help him out a lot. Frostbite. I'm not a big fan of any of these guys, but when you put them together in a team, it looks awesome. You got um, Nick Hansen as the captain, Jackson Meyer, who's always fun, and Janique Lavette, who did really good in the past season. Janique Lavette, I especially don't like, but for some reason, put all these put together to become Frostbite. I mean, I just love the name, and that's a pretty good team. Now the Wolf Pack, led by Ian Dory. The biggest surprise of this is, well, he's got Dan Yeager, but Jerry Dorelio. Where did Megan Martin go? Well, I know where he went. You'll see in a minute. But why not Megan Martin? Why Jerry Dorelio? I mean, she's a strong athlete, but why would you choose her over Megan Martin? You train with Megan Martin? Like, why is Megan Martin out of that? I just don't get that at all. Now the Trey Amigos. We've got Jermaine Dorch, which is the muscle, super strong. Andrew Lowe's, who made it all the way to stage two this past season. And Megan Bietti. I've never heard of her, but... Overall, I mean, I'm not a big fan of them, but they've got a fairly strong team. Oh, NorCal Ninjas. Uh, I mean, they're a strong team. I do not like them at all. That's all I'm saying. David Campbell, Brian Kretsch, Anna Shoemaker, same as last year. Um, but I'm not really a big fan of this team. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry. This is not exactly, like, I'm, this is not, like, looking at their strengths and weaknesses. It's just do I like them or not and kind of looking at them. Now the Young Bloods. This... This is a perfect team right here. Tyler Gillette, Kevin Carbone, and Bree Widener. These were these all competed in Daytona Beach. They were all rookies, and they were all really strong. Tyler Gillette, all the way to stage two. Kevin Carbone made it to stage one, and Bree Widener made it to the finals. And honestly, I this is my pick to win this season. Well, not my first pick, but one of my top like three picks. I, I'm rooting for these guys, especially Tyler Gillette, because... He's one of those guys, just like me, who's been training since a young age, like middle school. I haven't been training since elementary school. But, yeah, I love this team, so I'm, I'm rooting for them. Now Team Ronan. This is where Megan Martin has transferred for, has transferred to, <clears throat> which I'm really, I don't know why they chose her over Tiana Weberly. I mean, Megan Martin is stronger, but they, they've been with Tiana Weberly for a long time. They've got a really good bond with her. I think, and she's a strong athlete, just like Megan Martin. Well, Twilip Rodriguez, J.J. Woods, I see them because they're friends, but Megan Martin, I have no idea why she's on this team. She should definitely be in the Wolf Pack instead, and they should have Tiana Weberly, but whatever they want. Now to the West Coast Warriors. I'm not really a big fan of these guys either, but Al Alan Keneally, J.B. Douglas, and Lindsay Eskelson, which Lindsay Eskelson actually made it to stage one, and she's pretty good, so that's Lindsay Eskelson is actually the only person I like out of that team. Um, now, Beasts from the East. What I'm really, really sad about in this, why no Drew Dreschel? And this season, actually, I forgot yes. to tell you this. There's no Drew Dreschel. There's no Joe Morowski. And, like, those are two top ninjas, and they're not in this. I don't know why they're taking it off, but... I don't know why they're not doing it, but it's just so weird, like, to not have two of the best competitors. It's just weird. And then you don't have Alyssa Beard in this competition or Jesse Graff. Like, what are you doing? No Jesse Graff, no Alyssa Beard, no Drew Dreschel, no Joe Morowski. You don't even have Josh Levin or Charlie Andrews. If those were put on a team, that would be, boom, you win it all. But pr Charlie Andrews is probably still recovering. If you don't know, he had a very serious head injury. He almost died. Um... So he probably still needs to recover for that, but I don't know why those competitors aren't doing it. Maybe they're too busy training or something. I don't know why they wouldn't do this. You're going to lose half your viewers if you don't have Drew Dreschel, Joe Morowski, Jesse Graff, Alyssa Beer, any of these competitors. So Anyway, back to Beast from the East. Sorry. 
James McGrath is pretty strong, along with Dave Cavanaugh and Erica Cook. Erica Cook, I hope she doesn't get injured again. She got injured in one of the past Team Majority seasons. It looks like she's okay now, but yeah.